In this experiment, brown nitrogen dioxide is produced and collected in a pipette. Immerse the bulb of the pipette in hot water for about 15 to 30 seconds. Note that the gas in the bulb of the pipette is dark brown in color. Remove the pipette from the hot water and immerse the bulb of the pipette in the cold water for about 15 to 30 seconds. The effect of the temperature on the gas equilibrium between nitrogen dioxide and dinitrogen tetroxide is then investigated by immersing the propet into hot and cold water respectively. Note that the gas in the bulb of the propet is light brown in colour. This conventional equipment is cumbersome. By using the Radmast microchemistry system, each pupil in the class could do this experiment themselves. Before you begin this experiment, you need to prepare a container of cold water and a container of hot water. First, fill about a third of well F1 with copper turnings. Put lid 1 on well F1. Fill the syringe with about 0.5 ml of 6 molar nitric acid and insert the nozzle of the syringe in the syringe inlet on lid 1. Slowly add the nitric acid from the syringe to the copper turnings in well F1. Note that a blue solution begins to form in the well. When a brown gas begins to form above the blue solution in the well, Squeeze all the air out of the bulb of a pipette and insert the stem of the pipette into the vent in lid 1. Slowly release the pressure on the bulb of the pipette and wait till it fills with the brown gas. When the pipette bulb has filled with the brown gas, remove the stem of the pipette and Hold the stem of the pipette pinched closed. Remove the combo plate and bring in your hot water and your cold water. Immerse the bulb of the pipette in the hot water for about 15 to 30 seconds. Note that the color of the gas in the bulb of the pipette is dark brown. Remove the propet from the hot water and immerse the bulb of the propet in the cold water for about 15 to 30 seconds. When the nitrogen dioxide was collected in the bulb of the propet, it was in equilibrium with a colorless gas called dinitrogen tetroxide. This gas equilibrium is affected by temperature. At high temperatures, the concentration of the nitrogen dioxide is increased and the gas appears dark brown in color. At low temperatures, the concentration of the colorless dinitrogen tetroxide increases. At this temperature, there's still a small concentration of brown nitrogen dioxide present in the propet. The gas mixture, therefore, appears light brown in color.